It's a mouse trap. You set it off. That bar cut you in two. Now, I've told you before, don't get ahead of me! I didn't know. It's all right. Oh, you've got a lot to learn, my girl. Hmm. Fresh cheese, that is. It's called cheddar. Mother's favourite. But you've got nothing to spring it with. Never mind. Just stand by. Father! I know what I'm doing. Just watch that bar. And if it starts to move, shout. But if you touch the cheese... You... Just watch the bar. for beginners. A rock cake, a nice piece of fringe, a grape, two sultanas, very nice nut. Oh, thank you, Loopy. You're very kind. And a piece of biscuit, rich tea. Oh, rich tea. Very thoughtful. Well, one must help those less fortunate than oneself. <laughs> I mean, we are sisters, aren't we? You wouldn't think so to look at us, would you? But then, I married a harpsichord and you married a clock. What's that got to do with it? I'm not saying that Pod isn't good-hearted. Then what are you saying? Nothing. Lucy? It's only just that, well, that he must realise that none of us are getting any younger and I think he should give up the borrowing and let my two dear darling sons do it. Ditchley and Ilric are the most skillful borrowers that have ever been. I mean, you've only got to see my store. Well, let me tell you something, Loopy. Pod has forgotten more about borrowing than your two boys will ever know. Oh, really? Oh. oh evening, Loopy. Where's Arietti? Uh, she's just gone to see Uncle Tina. Has Pod been out borrowing? Yes, Loopy, with Arietti. Suppose that they were seen. We'd have to emigrate. We'd all have to emigrate. If Pod wants to take Arietti borrowing. Daughters should help their mothers, not try to be boys. Why you let her outside is completely beyond my condensation. I'm only thankful for my precious Eggletina. She wouldn't dream of going outside. Please, Arietti. Please take me with you. I'd love to, Eggletina. I really would. But there's no way your parents will let you. I know. But I haven't been out since... Yes, but that was years ago. Oh, it's such a shame, because there aren't any cats here. I've been outside lots of times, and I've never seen one. That wouldn't convince Mother. It's just not fair. You can go out whenever you like. Only because I promised I'd never talk to another human being. I'm very careful the old ladies never see me. Well, I'd be just as careful. You'll be allowed to one day. I'm sure you will. It'll be such fun. You'll be able to watch and listen and I'll show you everything. The garden's full of flowers and the old ladies are so funny. You'll love it outside, you really will. So, Miss Butter won't melt in your mouth. Eggletina will love it outside, will she? You're a wicked, deceitful girl. No, Mother, she was just... Coming in here, doing your best, doing your worst, I should say. Persuading our precious Eggletina to disobey us. But I didn't say that at all. What I, I, I know what you said. We heard it, didn't we, Hendreary? Oh, we did, my dear. We did indeed. She didn't. Eggletina. What I said. I, I know said. what you said. And you are a wicked, wicked girl. Wicked. Wicked! <laughs> I've 
got to admit, uh, they'd, be, they'd been very kind. It's just... Well, it's, it's just Loopy's manner. It's so... I don't know. Bossy. I don't know how Hendreary stands it. Or Egil Tina. I expect that's why her darling boys live on their own. Yes, Ditchley and Ulrich. Got to be good borrowers, though. That storeroom's full. Yes, I know. I only wish... What? Well, we weren't all living on top of one another. Oh, back in the old house, you never stopped saying how much you wanted company. I know, Pod. But there's company and... company. What'd you borrow that for? I don't know. Got a first for the sweet peas. Of course we should, dear. I didn't think the cream teas were as good as last year's, did you, Hilda? No, I didn't, dear. But I was very impressed with Mr. Huggins' rhubarb. Oh, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> oh, Madam Butterfly is beginning to drop. Oh, off you come. Oh, look, Hilda. Pelagonium is dying of thirst. No need to drown it, dear. That'll do for now. I'll go and put a kettle on. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> Buy any pegs, Mrs. No, I do not. Do you mind removing your foot? I can't. It's attached to me leg. <laughs> Where's the boy? That's none of your business. Oh, it is, you know. Because I believe he knows where they are. And who, may I ask, are they? You know as well as I do, Mrs. The little ones. Would you care for a cup of tea, Mr. Mildai? I was sorry to hear your mistress had kicked the bucket. She had been bedridden for years. I thought it was a merciful release. Who for? So, what's going to happen to the house? Well, I expect it'll be sold. What will you do? Morty. The boy will still spend his school holidays here. He's coming on Saturday. Is he now? I want you to watch him. See what he does. I'll pay you. You leave it to me, missus. I'll keep an eye on him. Good. Follow him everywhere. 
You know you can trust me. Oh, I know how much I can trust you. Partners. Yes. You lead me to him. I know you will. Then I'll be richer. We will. Are you telling me how to bring up my own daughter? Well, it's quite obvious that someone's got to, isn't it, Hindria? I didn't want to come here. Oh, no, of course And not. if you want to know, I'd be quite happy if I never set eyes on you again. Oh. Did you hear that? My own sister? Did you hear what she Just said? Just because you bring us things, you think you can say what you like. We're the poor relations. We have to do what we're told. I don't have to stay and listen to this. God, will you know the way out? You ungrateful creature! <gasps> Hendreary! Oh, I'm sick and tired of Loopy's airs and graces. I didn't ask Uncle Tina. She asked me. She was a rain pipe just like me before she married. What's his name? Why shouldn't you ask Uncle Tina? But I didn't. There, you see? You can't stay here, Pod. But what choice do we have? Live off the land like we did before at the mercy of birds, rats and weasels? Oh, yes. Don't it... interrupt. I mean, there hadn't been for Spiller. We'd have starved. That's true. Live and let live, eh? You've put Loopy in her place, you'll never forget it. Now you've got to swallow your pride and patch things up before supper. <laughs> never! And I said a lot of things I shouldn't have done, Loopy. And I'm very sorry. Dear homily, it was just a silly misunderstanding. We must let bygones be bygones, mustn't we? One big happy family. Do sit down. Oh, thank you. We're expecting Ditchley and Ilric. They always bring us something very special. Well, actually, we've got something extra special for you. Oh. Oh, my goodness, Pod, what a wonderful piece of cheese. It's cheddar. She's such a help in the kitchen. <laughs> Sparrow's egg omelette. Did you like the soup? Very nice. Carrot tine and wild garlic. My very own recipe. Very tasty. <laughs> Arietti. Soup, tasty. Yes. Ditchley and Elric even bring us fish from the stream. Ah, oh, our dear boys are the best borrowers in the whole world. We do our best, Mother. Ditchley, darling! Oh! oh. <laughs> It's so wonderful to have you back home. Oh, it's wonderful to be back home. <laughs> but I see we have... Visitors. Well, perhaps you should introduce us. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. You're Uncle Pod. Yes, that's right. And, and you're... Aunt Homily. Well, how very nice to meet you again after such a long time. I... I haven't seen you two since Arietti was born. Arietti? That's you, isn't it? They're living with us now. Oh, yeah? They were seen. Seen? Were they, Mother? Yes. Oh, well, it, it happens sometimes, doesn't it? I'm bound to, eh? Mm. And what little extra have you bought for our supper? Well, not too much as it happens, Mother. Well, burrowings are a bit thin on the ground, but we managed to get... Quite a nice little piece of cheese. From the pantry. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. Where did that come from? Your Uncle Pod borrowed it. Oh, did he? Oh, that is nice, isn't it? Very impressive. Where'd you find it? You should have seen him. Father was wonderful. He lifted it right off a mousetrap. Well, I think I was a bit lucky, as a matter of fact. Yes, he must have been. 
Not like when you got seen. No, not like then. Happened to poor old dad as well, didn't it? <laughs> Being seen. <laughs> yeah, you got dusted on the mantelpiece, didn't you, dad? <laughs> Looks like uh, you ought to be dusted again. <laughs> it's just a quick spring clean. <laughs> In the air. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he's got them off. Got them off, balls. You <laughs> knock him off. That's a long face, Eggy. Aren't you pleased to see us? Of course I am. Of course you are. Of course you are. Do you think he needs a polish now? A bit of beeswax would be good for him, mate. <laughs> 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 Give me his cheese. He did it deliberately, it shows up. Father was wonderful. Mm, lifted it right off a mouse. So what? Well, he's showing off. This is our house. He's got to learn that. Yeah, well, we're going to teach him. Of course we will. Show the old has been what real borrowing is. That's right. And it won't just be a lump of cheese. No. you an hour ago. The train was late. It's a long walk from the station. It's under a mile. It's good exercise. You came straight here? Yes, I did. Wipe your feet! Wipe your feet. Close the door! Close the door. Like to see some real borrowings, Uncle Pod. Very much indeed, does he? Looks as if you've done very well indeed. Oh, do you think so? This isn't nothing special, is it? Quite normal for us, I'd say. Oh, yes. Quite normal. What have you got? Well, do you, do you want to start, Elric? No, after you, Ditch. Okay. Nightlight. Oh. Thimble. Matches. Oh. Chocolate. String. Rice. More string. Tin tacks. Oh. And an elastic band. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that chocolate. Collar stuff. So, oh. Shirt buttons. Oh. Cheeks. Cotton wool. Stuff for dresses. Oh. A Brussels sprout. Oh. More stuff for dresses. Oh. And a walnut. Oh. Oh. And now for something a little bit special. Scissor. Oh. How's that for borrowing? But that's, um. That's. That's. That's something really special, Ditchley. Where did you get that? Come on, tell me. Be quiet, Harriet. Tea? We found it, didn't we, Ulrich? Yeah. Where? I don't know. Just lying about somewhere. You took it from a spiller, didn't you? Spiller? Are you accusing us of stealing from another borrower? That's not very nice, is it? What's the matter with her? Father, that was yours, you know it was, and then it was Spiller's. One half scissor looks much like another. But, Father... Sit down, Arietti. It's this bit of string. He may just have lost it. Not Spiller. Something's happened to him, I know it has. Spiller will be all right, he'll turn up. Type, yes. That's it. Pod? Yes? There's no water. Well, there must be water. You're probably not doing it right. These things are always a bit stiff. See, I'm not doing it wrong. No. Ariete? Mm. Borrowing shoes. What, is it serious? I don't know. It could be.
the doctors say it could take several months to oh. mend. Oh, as much as that? The whole bones knit slowly, I'm afraid. Must have been a terrible shock to you. Oh, it was. Hilda's been my companion since Fred died. I should be completely lost if I were here on my own. Oh, yes, yes, of course you would. Now, the gas people have been, and the water board, so everything's turned off. Much safer. Yes. And if you could pop in from time to time, I would be most grateful. Here's the key. Oh, thank you. Now, I've cleared out the pantry because of the mice, but I'd be so pleased if you would have the jam. Oh, how very kind. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. When will you get to Bogner? Uh, six something, I believe. My daughter's meeting the train. Oh, I just hope I've remembered everything. I have to move on again. We haven't been seen. It's not the point. No one to borrow from. There's Loopy's storeroom. Loopy's storeroom will soon be empty with the number of people she's got to feed. Nine. Exactly. Anyway, don't forget it's their storeroom. Well, when will we have to go? I don't know. Got to find a way out first. Sleep. I hardly know the woman. Well, I suppose it's a nice enough garden, but it ought to be the amount of time they spend in it. The cottage itself is very dilapidated. The gate needs a good paint. Is that the place in Hexwood Lane? Yes, Ivy Cottage. And I'm supposed to look after it for a few jars of blackberry jam. Butter? version of it anyway. <laughs>
Hello, little fella. Come to nice old mile, I. 